settings and also when you're like hey fuck it I'll use natural light that's kind of cool kind of moody maybe I'll turn the brightness up on this sorry about the buzzing it's the AC I'm gonna turn it down in a second I just had to close the windows for a bit. Oh, thank you. Who the fuck is that in the corner? That's uh, Steve Tyler. It's a picture I made of Steve Tyler. Um, yeah, hey, welcome to the Muscle Show. Uh, I was looking at you guys in chat, chatting it up. Uh, Saying that, uh, what is that red and white picture behind you? The red and white picture. Oh, uh, that one? Oh, wait, no, that's red and blue. Red and white. Which one's red and white? The red, the red and blue one? Uh, the red and blue one behind me is a poster. It's a Dave Clock poster. There's a bunch of Dave Clock posters on this wall. That one's from Meltdown. It's a, uh... Um, well, it, that's Steven Tyler, but I photoshopped his face onto the body someone his same age. Deja, I did not go to the pavement reunion show. I should have, but I just didn't. I saw them with play with Sonic Youth, which was great. I love pavement. What a great band. I celebrate their entire catalog. Uh... Yes, Steven Tyler's seen, seen better days. Yes, he's definitely seen better days. Uh, he's pays money to see better days. I was just, uh, just, uh, just kind of just, you know, was like, hey, what would Steven Tyler look like if he wasn't some crazy rich rock star guy? I like, I like how moody this sunset through the blind lighting is like this. Listen up, guys. Let's maybe let's center this a little. That's some that's some cinematography for my stream, right? Like this looks quality. Some kind of mat. It's not magic hour because uh, the sun is clearly just shining on me. 
but how's it how's everyone doing uh i just it, it, to be honest it would be weirder if a man from a metal band from the 80s still had a full head of hair i mean yeah they pay for it right uh yeah sorry about the ac is it too loud the ac too loud is it can you hear me can you understand me Uh, I feel like the chat's like extra behind. No, AC's fine. Okay. The buzz, the buzz is the AC. I'll turn it off as soon as like the room becomes, it's a small room, so it'll be, it'll be an ice box in a second. Uh, I just, I, I want to, I want to say, uh, so someone in chat before i got on said uh uh trevor would be embarrassed uh i know like it only feeds into it if i'm like that irks me but it does you didn't know the guy you, you only kind of like like watched you knew of him you watched his persona he was one of my best friends and i'm not saying chat you don't have to like attack anyone who says anything close to that i'm just like if if you if you're the person who typed that and you said that just know i see that i'm looking at chat i see it and it's like it it's you know it it feels weird if you want me to feel weird, sure. If you feel like, like, you know, like, hey, I want Sam to feel bad right now. I just want to, like, stick a, a pin in his voodoo ball, voodoo doll. Sure, I guess, you know, but uh, just know. You know, and you can be like, ah, it was just a joke, but like, just know. It does, you know. It does feel weird. And, yeah. I mean, I you know, I, I think, you know... Hey, should I not be doing these shows? Should I not be going on stream? I, I do have fun. And I feel like other people have fun. But, you know... Just know. I'm trying my hardest here. I'm not... I'm not making... A fortune off these streams. I'm not making money off these streams. We're making this movie, but like, uh, I'm I'm doing this because I like this thing that we all created together. Uh, no, no, it, it. I'm just saying. I'm sure it was in jest. I'm just saying. I see it, and this is probably like the wrong thing to do. Is, is, oh, uh, always killing the game, man. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, I just don't think it's fun for people to be like, hey, your bed, your, your dead friend would be embarrassed of you. Uh, and I'm not fishing for anything. I'm not fishing for you guys to, like, jump on anyone. I'm just saying for anyone that, that thinks like, oh, hey, this will be funny, is I'll say, uh, Sam, Trevor, Trevor would hate this. Uh, it's it's not right. It's not really funny for me. But yeah, uh, uh, and yeah, not saying. All right, got things started off on a weird foot, but uh, also, uh, just I feel like I feel like this stream. I think we're gonna play something today. Uh. I think we're gonna play some uh I had a great day outside it's beautiful weather with my wife young kids when again is Emily do a boy right yeah panini sweetie that is the most panini sweetiest thing you've ever said uh and I uh yeah I I I had a do you know what I did today? This is pretty wild. 
I, uh, yeah, no, we're going to do some crosswords today. Um, I, you know, I think I'm going to like make pictures and like constantly put them up around me in the stream. Like it's like the stickers on my laptop. Hey, what's up, Principal Rolls? Uh, we're going to do some crosswords today. Uh, I did, but I did something, something funny. I submitted paperwork to have my last name changed. Now, to you guys, to like, on credits and stuff like that, I think I'm, I'm always going to be Sam Brown. That's going to be my professional name is Sam Brown. But... I my family name now is gonna be I I you know it has to be finished it's a long process that's that's not quite done uh, happy Pride Month for town it's uh, no I'm not changing it to Emily's last name that's the thing it's like uh, uh, we're the real Michael Jackson who are you are we related. Uh, my, my, uh, my last name's going to be, uh, Forrest, which is my brother and my father's middle name. Like, F-O-R-R. -R. I guess I am related to the real Michael Jackson. Yeah, Whitaker Forrest. It's close. Uh, it's going to be Walter Ian Forrest is, is going to be his name. And it's so that Emily and I can have, all have, like, this, this... It's not really for privacy reasons. It's more like... Uh, oof. Oof. Jaws of Victory. I mean, that's Nathan. Nathaniel. Uh, Sam Brown has been a good name. But I, I, I'm going to be Samuel Kelly Forrest. And it, I, I think it fits. But, like, the whole thing is, like, creating something new with Emily. Creating, you know, this family unit. Um, tax reasons. No, 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 not tax reasons. Uh, and, yeah, I think I, I, I part of it is, like, Walter Ian Forrest is, like, a writer. I think that's a, that's a really cool name. Uh... Two of those words are types of green. Yeah, and my old name was a type of brown, or is brown. Um, yeah. So that's, that's what's going on with me. Let's see, what else did I do? I returned stuff to UPS from Amazon. It's another... Uh, brown is my favorite type of brown. Um. Thanks, Nymex. Nymex, your positivity always, always uh, uh, cheers me up. Uh, Sam Brown was a party animal name. Yeah, and that party animal is put to rest. Uh, I, I think you know. But uh, Sam Brown's still gonna be, you know, writer Sam Brown. Comedian Sam Brown. That's still going to be out there. Uh, Sam Brown died of a nail gun. Yep. Are you trying to cop out of the Brown family reunions? I mean... The... The Brown... Is... Wait. Real Michael Jack... Is, is this Jack Jack? Is that the real Michael Jackson? Is the real Michael Jackson the real John Jackson? That's Samuel Kelly Forrest four twenty sixty nine. Yeah, no, that is true. The real Michael Jackson Brown. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, believe it or not, the Brown family is quite small because my dad had two sisters and both of them married. 
and uh, yeah. So, I don't know. no more want. <coughs> ah, abstract pits. You're, you're my cousin, a fellow brown boy. I mean. From that side of the family, I've got three cousins. Two of them are named Jackson, so that's why I was thinking it was you. Unless you're Tess. Tess is your name on Twitch, the real Michael Jackson. Sent a package to the P.O. Box. It says it arrived, but it didn't arrive at the P.O. Box for some reason. Deja! It got stolen. Deja. Oh. I know why. Alright, I gotta check it out. Deja, there is no more P.O. Box. I feel horrible. I forgot. Marty 20K! Party of 8! That's a good show, but... Sorry, through all, all the moving... I no longer live near that that post office. And so I had to shut down the P.O. box. Snood. Snood Raid. Are you guys playing Snood Raid? But I, I did put my forwarding address with the P.O. box, so I wonder if it'll forward that stuff to my new address. But, I don't know. Were you ever big into Super Nintendo? You know, actually, I was a Genesis guy. Uh, I was a Sega Genesis guy. But later in life, I went back and played some of those Super Nintendo games. Uh, but also, well, I mean, I've talked to people about this many times. If you take my sketch class, I'll probably talk about this. One of my all-time favorite games is Super Mario Brothers 2, or as it was known as on... Uh, uh, Super Genesis does very little compared to the Super Nintendo. Uh, Sega does what Nintendo. Oh, very cool. Um, so what was I saying? Sorry, I'm a little scattered today. I'm a little scattered this week. Uh, busy week. Uh, so everyone, yeah, everyone hates the the uh, Lost Levels because it wasn't released in America. It was the Super Mario Brothers 2 that was released in Japan. It's great. It's the Dark Souls of Mario Brothers. It seriously, they were like, hey, what if what if instead of starting over at like a new level one, it's level nine. It's world nine. And so it's harder than the last world, uh, than the other game. And, like, a lot of, like, the weird creative things that, uh, that happened in Super Mario 3, like, levels where they repeated forever unless you went down a certain warp tube or something like that, were all concepts that came up in, uh... Uh, Lost Levels or the original Mario 2 so Mario 3 seemed like this insane leap but Mario 2 Lost Levels is uh, kind of the, the it, it looks like the original Mario it feels like Mario 3 it loves it, it, it is a, a fucking great game that is very punishing. Just, what's up with the weird Steven Tyler? It's just a weird Steven Tyler. Maybe, maybe we'll play, um, we'll play some crosswords. How's that sound? And then after crosswords, I'll do some Photoshop of other 
rock stars over people's heads that are their same age. Um, cool. Hey, how many people here have played... How many of the people here... I'm going to put up a poll. Alright. This will be a three answer, like, uh... Okay, this I'm curious about this. For everyone poll. Start the poll. Have you ever beat the original Super Mario Brothers? Should have been beaten. Have you ever beaten? Yeah. This is my keyboard ASMR. I sometimes think about getting a quieter keyboard because everyone comments on it. Oh, Andy Mac, that's exactly the kind of discourse I want to hear. That, like, someone being close. My suggestion to you is... I, I, I'm sure a lot of people are... Uh, yeah, Naya Mix, that's kind of like... That's that third, didn't really play it. Okay. So there is a big chunk of people... Beat it without warps. That's, that's a flex there. Uh, I mean, it's still rewarding if you do the warps, although you can skip like 80% of the game if you do the warps, but, uh, but still, still, fucking, it's rewarding, like, to those 15 people that said no, think about it. Think about it at some point of your life. Think about buckling down and beating the first Super Mario Brothers. And uh, I was talking about this recently, but like that first Super Mario Brothers, that was the first time that I played a video game where I really imagined I was in that world. Where there was something to explore. Because, like, most video games to that point, like... And I'm sure there was other games like Super Mario Brothers, But most video games, you kind of had, like, four maps. And you kind of just... They just kind of repeated. And with the whole world thing where it evolved and there was an end to it was... Was... Uh, was so fun. Uh, and... It was crazy. I'll tell you this is like uh, we Nate and I we got a Nintendo for Christmas one year. I think I was maybe five, maybe six, and um, we played it. We played it enough that uh, or Nate played it enough that that first day he threw up from staring at the TV so much. CRTs were mo- oh, wow, really? Did not know that. The CRTs are cool. No, he wasn't beating me off. That came much later. I was an adult. Um, that checks out, yeah. Uh, go back, I mean, that's always- that, that's a good book waiting for you to read it. Super Mario Brothers. Uh, I mean, seriously, I think this has to do with he was probably what? If I was five, he was probably eight. 
He probably hadn't been used to staring at a TV for an entire day at that point. And uh, it was probably sat too close. The, yeah, the one for the OG Game Boy was really cool. Um, there were some cool... You know what was a cool game for the OG Game Boy? This is a weird one that people... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, my office does have like an old used car lot vibe. This is, uh, yeah. I wrote a book uh, about Nate beating me off. It was great. Oh, Pun Punky's mixtape. Thanks for rating. That's very cool. Punky's mixtape. What, what were you guys doing? Hey, hey. Uh, on the old Game Boy, I'll say this is, uh, uh, yeah, Welcome Raiders. Uh, on the old Game Boy, there was a, uh, a, f a fucking, uh, Crash Test Tummy, Crash Test Dummies game that was so fucking fun. And, and really in particular, there was one level of it where I, I remember, I think you were, like diving off of a building and trying to like hit a trampoline and you did like but it, it worked like a freestyle level where you would do uh um wait, we're a music show that features underground music from all around the world we also do comedy sketches as well oh very cool very cool uh where are you located out of punky's mixtape Hey, Sam, did you ever play the original Metal Gear games? Not Metal Gear Solid, but the original top-down ones. Yes, I have. It wasn't until later. You're in Maine, and my co-host is in New York. New York City or just New York State? Uh, what it means to be from Maine. Uh, isn't that how that jingle goes? Uh, oh, upstate. Cool, cool. Um... New England, respect. From Cape Cod, from Sandwich. Sandwich, Massachusetts. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Guys, are you guys excited for the NBA Finals? The Boston Celtics are facing off against the Golden State Warriors. The Boston Celtics are the underdogs here, but I mean, what a team. Uh, I should start playing more old games on these. Hey, Hortown. What's up with Sassy Daddy Game Boys? I haven't seen a notification for a stream in many weeks. He's around. Sassy Daddy's around. He's been busy. He's got life. We all have life here. And uh, he... he. I'll tell you what. This is, this is what kind of guy Timmy is. He has been texting me and he's been saying oh god I feel awful I can't I can't stream right now my life is really crazy uh and I and I've said I've, I've spoken for you and I said Timmy you gotta do you live your life ah oh, the real Michael Jackson fucking shit If there's anything I love, it's Celtics gear. Fucking shit. Uh, cool. Let's do some crosswords, right? It feels it feels it feels like the time is right. You know what I'm gonna watch tonight? I rented. I've been going to a video rental place. I rented the blue or the 4K DVD of Akira. Hendo. Dropping memes in the chat. Uh, so I think I'm going to watch Akira tonight. Yeah, it is classic. It It's a fucking good movie, man. Like, I might go back and make sure that's on my list of uh, uh, top movies of the 80s on uh, Letterboxd. 
Oh, I'm gonna do. Cure does go hard. Um, I want to do a uh, TikTok videos where I go. All right, guys. Here's my 20 through 15 of movies that have blown my mind. Number 20. Will you marry me, Jennifer Love Hewitt, or no, Je Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson? And she's a pop star, and he marries, and he marries her. He's just a math teacher. They get, and they, it's it's tough at first, but eventually, they get together. Number nineteen, top twenty movies that have blown my mind. Uh, see, hackers. <laughs> they can get into any computer they want to. What? Number... Number 18 of top 20 movies that have blown my mind. Babe, you the pig talks. What? Pigs don't talk? What? This is the top 20 mind-melting, mind-blowing movies that you've ever seen. Uh, number, number, where, where, where was I, 17? Let me see what I have at 17. Moneyball. Moneyball. They don't, they don't use traditional drafting methods to, to make a winning team. They use analytics. Are you serious? Huh? Top 20 movies, 20 through 15 of movies that have blown my mind. Uh, number 16. This is a mind-blowing movie for the ages. Home Alone. They leave the kid home. They go on vacation. He's home alone. And then, what? <laughs> <laughs> the robbers try and rob him, but he stops the robbers? Like, hello? What? What? Uh, and 15 through 20, number... Or, I guess... All right, we'll end it there. We'll end it there. <laughs> that, it is dangerous. So, yeah, that that's just a peek at the new uh, series of TikToks. You don't stop that I'm doing... Uh I'll I'll do the full I'll do the full twenty. Uh I'm glad I have twenty through sixteen all picked up picked out. Was Kevin McAllister an avatar? Oh what? What like a like there's a Navi somewhere that's controlling Kevin McAllister? That'd be sick. I want to see that movie. All he needs is a nail gun. He, I mean, I'm not even sure he didn't have a nail gun, right? Everyone was hyped for the preview of SMB3. I was, my mind was blown. I got a little, little mini uh, Nintendo Power. Guys, a little thing about me when I was a kid. People would ask me, Sam, what do you want to be when you grow up? I would say, I want to be a Nintendo game counselor. Do you guys know what a Nintendo game counselor is? Yeah, how did he know where the magic flute was? He's the wizard. He got through the nuances of the game. Look, he's mixed up. Uh, a Nintendo game counselor is featured in the movie The Wizard, and Nintendo game counselors were guys that would hang out in an office by phone, and if you got stuck in a video game, you could call, and they'd be like, all right, you're on, you're on the underwater level of Ninja Turtles. Well, here's the trick. I used to call into the Nintendo Game Counselor line and ask them to read me the story of BattleBots or whatever the Super Scope 6 game was. 
Huh. Autism equals magic. Yeah. Yeah, you know, back in the day, they didn't even diagnose it as autism. They they would just call it being really good at video games and wanting to go to California. I might tweet that later, Panini. You, you just inspired a very nuanced tweet. The, a very, a very... A very niche tweet, not nuance. A very niche tweet. It was like bedtime stories on dial. I was obsessed with that game and really wanted it for Christmas. Oh, I love that. So I would call in daily, get them to read the storyline for the game, and I would thank them and go to sleep. That's amazing. All right. Uh, I just want to say that that is something that you grow out of. You anticipate things. Uh, <laughs> oh, true. Everyone with... Wait, no. I saw the movie Rain Man, and I feel like that guy didn't want to go to California. He was being forced to go to California by his shitty brother. Um... Let's see. I'll, I'll you know what? I'll say video game wizards. I'll say they they were called video game wizards who wanted to go to California, and I think people will get it. Uh, wait, I was just, I was just about I just I had a thought and it left my head. Uh, I'm having a fun time talking to you guys. Uh, yeah, I live in California too. I hear you. Oh oh yeah. I mean, it's such a funny thing. This thing like when you're a kid. You can be such a fan of something that you have not experienced at all. You can see something and sky's the limit. You know, like, I remember once, and this is just me being an asshole, but I made my grandmother drive through a fucking tropical store. It was like, it was bad. There was no one on the road. And she, she drove me to uh, Toy Works. Which was like an off-brand KB Toys. It was a place called Toy Works. They had them around, but it was like KB Toys was obviously the bigger chain. I guess Toys R Us was like the huge chain. Then there was KB Toys, and then below that was Toy Works. And she drove me to a Toy Works so I could get the Godzilla Nintendo game. And I was so excited for it, and it fucking sucked. It was bad. It was like this like weird chess game where you then would go into like the levels and the levels were like these really bad side scroll it was weird oh man uh toy works is not made up but I swear it was called Toy Works. Does anyone know that? Right? Let me let me see. I, I'm positive it had works in the t kids work. No, it's Toy Works. Rampage is cool, yeah. Toy Works. Oh. Okay. KB Toys would be called KB Toy Works. But I think that I think there was a place called Toy Works that they bought out. Cause I swear there was we KB Toys was in the mall and Toy Works. see if Etsy has any old toy works gear. I don't, I don't see any. Alright, well, maybe I made it up. Um, it's weird when you can't find something. You know you have... Uh, 
Sam, would you ever try and secure a spot on a speedrun leaderboard on stream? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder what game I would do that for. I mean, like, was it Pittsfield or Hyannis? Hyannis. Uh, I wonder. Hmm. What game would I try and do a speed run on? You know, it was awesome. There was one, um, uh, there was a place called Magic Works Toys. Hmm. Doesn't sound right. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna call Nate. Oh wait, my phone's dead. Shit. Maybe I'll call him on. Call him on Discord, see if he answers on Discord. Oh yeah, maybe like the first Sonic? Yeah, that, that'd be fun. Hello? No, he's not here. Alright. Hello? Oh, there he is. Hey, hey Nate. Do you remember, uh, do you remember the Bradleys in Hyannis? Yeah. Yeah, uh, wait, hold on, let me make sure check. Wait, talk? Alright, uh, uh, Bradleys in Hyannis. You remember the Bradleys in Hyannis? Yep. Uh, okay. So, there used to be a toy store in that plaza, right? Uh, yes. KB what? Toys, or was it Toys R Us? No, it wasn't it Toy Works? Toy Works. Sully, what was the name of the toy store that was in the Bradley's Plaza? Wait. I'm seeing Nate, Nate's thing on here. <clears throat> All right, I got I got the cups. He's playing Destiny. Oh, right, Vercelli. Oh, oh, this is where I got killed from behind. I didn't realize there were guys there. Okay. Get killed from um, behind. Toy work sounds right, Sam. They they came too hard. Uh, <laughs> toy works, yeah. Sully Sully said it wasn't a chain. Yeah, I think it was Toy Works. Uh, chat saying Destiny is eight year old, eight years old. Grow up. Grand Theft Auto is older than Destiny. Ooh. All right, I'm in my chalice room. Are there more bell guys to kill? All right, I'm in the chalice room. All right, I'll hang Shoot up on you. I'll, I'll let you play your. Um, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll check in you this like we're in a dungeon, Sam. Ooh, spooky. Yeah. What kind of dungeon? Um, a callous dungeon in the Leviathan. Like a torture it dungeon? Just keeps, I think it's a chance. We just keep getting the chalice, so it keeps taking us to the chalice room. Hmm. Alright, man. Have fun with your I'll check in with you later. Yeah, I'll have fun with Destiny. Alright, uh, what did they call them? Guardians? Right. Have, have fun, Guardian. Will do. <laughs> is that what they call them? Yeah, we're Guardians. Alright, 18 seconds. That was my brother, Nate Brown, confirming that 
it was like yeah I was like looking for a sexy dungeon but I guess not um any thoughts about the NBA finals starting tomorrow What I'm currently having nostalgia trip on is Link's Awakening. It's like a modern version of the original uh, Legend of Zelda. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh, okay, here we go. June first crossword. Let me see. I remember. Freaking. What was it? What was the the one for Game Boy was fucking rad. I think like the first one it was one of those ones where you like gained skills as you went along, kind of like that Metroidvania E vibe. Ocarina Time I don't think it's Do I think the Celtics do I think the Celtics should have cheated the top their way to the top or did do it did the, did they cheat their way to the top no they did not cheat their way to the top usually i'll, I'll say this is a bunch of horse shit is uh there's a lot of people out there who saw that game and they were uh getting really upset because at some point um someone hit a three-point basket and then the refs reviewed it and they were like uh it was uh, Gabe Vincent, I think, or no, no, it was, Str it was Strauss, hit a three-point basket, and they went and checked it, and they saw his lo his foot was out of bounds, and they reversed it, and there were so many people that were like, wow, that cost him the game. This three-point basket got that got reversed in, like, halfway through the game people are like that decided the game and here's the thing that happens refs review calls like that all the they turn twos into threes all the time i think what do you want do you want them to stop play to review it do you want them to like slow down the game to review that or just be like all right that seemed close i'm gonna review that in like two minutes when we have a stoppage in play and make a call on it or do you want them to just completely stop everything be like okay now we're gonna review this and like the thing is it's like and people are like oh his his foot was off and it's like his foot was over the white line like over the white line enough that like it looked like his heel could have been touching like completely out of bounds and it looked down and everyone saw from like one angle and they're like oh from that angle you can see that it's clearly up. and it's like come on like it, it, like they saw something they they made a, a a call on this small inconsequential play that yeah that means if, if that happened and everything went as it went from that point on, it's possible that the Heat could have been ahead. But also, maybe the Celtics wouldn't have tried to milk the clock as much, and it would not have been as close of a game. Because really, that's where the Celtics got in trouble. They were up 13, and they started milking the clock. Maybe they'd be up 10, and they wouldn't slow down, and it would have been less of a, a questionable game. Eh? You ever think makes you think? Makes you fucking think. Alright. Let's see, what window is this? Let's see if I can do this. Move this window down. We 
got crosswords. Let me move the chat box. Turn the chat box over here. Let's move this over here. You know what? I'm gonna just open the windows. Misty doll liquors. Okay. Damn right. Digital clock toggle. Uh, what's a lizard tail can do? Grow back, maybe, right? Regrow? Word with snow or bank? Bank shovel? Snow day? Bank day? Uh, snow ball? Bank ball? Bank teller? Snow teller? Teller snow? Um, ice, snow ice, snow bank ice, uh, oh yeah, and just so you know, if you want to help, make sure you, in what you're, when you throw out the answer, say the number and if it's across or down, like 11A, no tax. Bank tax. Bank loan? No. I had a friend the other day and he took a shit in my bathroom, then took a picture and photoshopped it into a letter of my name and sent it to a bunch of our friends. Super cool of him. I mean, a lot of effort there. It's one of those things where it's like, uh, wow, you, you, you did it. You did that, huh? Rescue tool at a crash site. Jaws of life. I think that fits. Yeah. So, bank snow. No job, bank job, snow job. Maybe. Snow jam, bank jam. Let's see, lines that lift. Kerfuffle. Become one. Maybe jazz of life is wrong. We have fun. I said regrow. Any poop sketch stories? Bro job? Um, 16. A. Ado. 16 across. Ado. Yeah. Thank you. So wait, is this o Odes? And Body, right? What's a snow job? I 
and this is becomes one wed. Yeah. Washington Post. Um, embassy. In, right. Mathematic Lovelace, Ada. Is that how you spell Ada? 36 is Lee. 36 cross Lee. Leah. Debussy. No jobs where someone pushed someone into the snow. <laughs> I know, right? We had a good time. Thanks for hopping on. Thank you for hopping in. Put some poop on a dollar bill and try to get that snow job. Uh, broccoli. Broccoli ra rabe. City near Provo Bay. Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's what I thought. Broccoli. It's like not like Boston Rob. It's broccoli Rob. What show? Ten down is Warbirds. That's why I hang out with you guys. Mark in the World Golf Hall of Fame. Mark 24 down is Paella. down is shit. No, it's not. 29 down, arts and crafts. Let's take a look at that. Oh, oh, uh, great. Oh, yeah. I like it. Art. Ats. Arts. Wait, nah. Doesn't fit. Creative activity through grade Something crafts. Forty eight cross treadstone tires. No. <laughs> Organization uh CIA. I like I like the answer treadstone. I was thinking yeah. What's his name? Art crafts? It may be. Neighbor of Ireland. Art. So this would be a uh, abbreviation because Ireland's abbreviated. Um, B R I? No. 34 across Chad. Okay. What's the neighbor of Ireland? Wales? North Ireland? Uh, Scotland, England, Iceland? Class. I see 23 across. Uh oh, surreptitiously say. Surreptitiously say I do. Oh, 
Oh, wait, no, no. 23 across. I... Yeah. Three, four across is capo. Neighbor of Sudan is capo? Or is that... Spelt it wrong, but... And didn't have the right direction, but you're right. Wait, and crafts because of the special squares. Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see this. Oh, yeah, it says arts and then and crafts. Those. I see what you're saying. See, it says A R T S. So, all right, so that's something to think about. Info typically not found in the yellow pages. Unlisted number. Little treasure, a gem. Only living creatures. Yes. Thirty one down is Cree. Sure. Can Navy inspired shoe brand. 47 cross bees. Nice, I like that. Uh, 31 across aluminum. Oh, 37 across aluminum. Wait. Maybe. No, no, wait. It doesn't even fit. Five across, twenty eight down is tar tarot cards. Twenty eight. Good job. Reason to step out. Step. Reason to sleep with the nightlight. Braid of the dark. Fear of the dark. Nibble, sixty seven, nibble. Unknown people in slang. Nibble better. Forty one is PLO. A half life? Is that right? 
I don't know. Shelf life. Aerosol. Right? That's how you spell aerosol, right? 51 down MoMA. Sorry if I'm missing any. 39 across nesting. 39... what I'm doing right now. Nesting. Droops. Sags. Farmers market sites. Tents. Tiny salamander. Fifty-five cross Ashley. Oh, you got Ashley Simpson. What a, that was a test and you failed. <laughs> uh, one might be graphic. F's? Never heard of F's. T-shirt? Uh, 42 across. Talise. Talise gay? Grew up? an error. Sixty three cross mid. Right. Mid sentence, mid century. Catch twenty two character. Place to see a Matisse. Oh, yeah, someone was saying MoMA. Thirty eight down steam car. So, wait, someone said a taste. I wish I'd listened to you. 65 RBIs. Prize possession of a numismatist. Num numismatists. Forty seven down bests. Do you want to cross this miasma? Sure. Biometric scan identifier, maybe. Jerk ass. Iris, yes. Or Midge. Kitty. Right? Maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Iota. I like that, yeah.
Oh. Uh, I don't know what a um, coin collections. Perhaps Wu Tang Clan. Randos. Okay, call, call. LSD, that's chill. Sales with into. Race us into position. Am I crazy? Is he super quiet? No, I, I think I've just been like mumbling is the thing. Uh... Laces, 50 down laces. Laces into? Positions, rules, roles, trials. Reels. My one ear is clogged. I'm sorry. Dance go. Rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, positions. Positions. Oh, yep. Yeah. The their positions are rules. Principal rules. Uh. Gray Wolf Lobo. Mm. Twenty three class to do. Oh, yeah, I like that. To SO. Yeah, that's right. Enid. Sure. Lobo. T shirt. Aspect. I'm getting dark, huh? Now it's magic hour. Aspect. Regard. <clears throat> Railroad stops. Abbreviation. Stations. Right? I'm gonna leave that in there. Some reef dwellers, eels. Like produce in the produce aisle often. Like produce in the produce. Produce. Okay, let's digital clock toggle. Nine down is ORM. Where is Provo Bay? Oh wait, then that's why. Something number. Phone. So this would be H O home phone number. Info typically not found. Oh, it's in the white pages. That's why. I forgot. I forgot about it's home phone number. White pages are, are residential. Yellow pages are business. 
Sonata finale. Often. Only living creature genius. Mark Mira five down is Rondo. Okay, Switch Makers. When doubled, I mahi mahi. AM PM. Oh, I like it. All right. So what's this? Damn right. Uh, amen. Really? Oh, they make the Switch, the Nintendo Switch. That should have a question mark. That's such a pun. Missed it. Egos. First try. Got it, got it right? Like, you know, we didn't have to go and redo anything? Holiday Trio with the... The Magi. Massive streamer Asmund Gold showed your guy's courtroom sketch in front of like 150,000 people after watching the Amber Heard trial coverage. Lol. Oh, don't get me started. That's crazy. Uh, guys, something I think you should know. Uh, you might have heard this before. I'm Team Hurt. Believe it or not, your good old neighborhood Sam is Team Hurt. Uh... Yeah, here's the hot take. Yeah, dude's an alcoholic dickhead. I mean, and it's a defamation case. Like, Pop Tart 3697. She said that she was in an abusive relationship. She didn't say, I was completely the victim of an abusive relationship. She said she was in an abusive relationship, and she was. And also, the other thing that, that comes into it, they both sound terrible, yes. They both suck, yes. Who do you think had more power in that relationship? Uh, Feeny, sweetie, it's been a pleasure. She came off like a psycho, but he's a psycho alcoholic. And I think the stuff that he, this, all the stuff that he pushed for was just about, like, embarrassing her in the public eye. And... Yeah, Johnny Depp is, he was, he's been playing guitar with Jeff Beck. Uh, and, yeah, I, I don't know. I just think, I think it's a real shame because I think there was, uh... I think there was there's a real like kind of bummer backlash like um, finally a woman's getting hers kind of thing when it's like you know like I I, I just think that the the whole thing yeah this is this is an old hot take this is the take that I've had but uh, 
uh, now that it's like in the public eye and everything like that. I, I actually think that her statement about the thing um, has been uh, pretty well said. Uh, Ariana Space Ninja, what were Herd's big claims? She should have stuck to the general claims instead of the specifics, but isn't this whole thing about an article that she wrote? And about her calling herself uh, a uh, someone who's been in an abusive relationship? Uh, people of, yeah, I mean, I thought my understanding was that this was a defamation case started by a, an article that she wrote where she claimed that she was a victim of abuse and that that started everything. And then all the information came out from a, a trial in the UK that she won. Did I watch any of the trial? I actually watched a little bit of the trial. I didn't watch all of the trial. She said Johnny gave her injuries but could not produce any pictures or medical records indicating those injuries, uh, that those injuries really happened. What injuries were they? I mean, like, do you record all your injuries? The one in the US was about the article and then he sued her for saying shit in the trial and in the media in the UK. So basically what's happened is that he threw a phone at her face full speed. All right, so basically what's happened is, I know I'm still team heard uh, with all this stuff is, is that They had a trial over defamation over an article. And in the trial, stuff came out. In, in him suing, stuff came out. The, oh, 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 yeah. The UK suit was against The Sun, not Amber Heard. Uh, and that was inconclusive, but, but uh, that got thrown out. Lack of evidence. And now you, uh, but you didn't watch it. So people that saw every argument probably raised eyebrows to the team heard thing. Love you, Sam. Well, here's the thing. I mean, like, did you watch all of it? Like, and like the thing that I'm also saying too, is that like, there are like these articles about it. And I have been like looking at these articles and from what I can gather, a lot of them are these outlandish headlines with very little to back it up. Like, uh, um, kind of the thing of like, oh, check out this video of Amber Heard massively fucking up in trial by mentioning, you know, and like, like catching herself in a line. And then you watch it and it's like she mentions uh, Kate Moss and then they like, uh, they bring Kate Moss in. And, yeah, and, I mean, I think that, like, there was a huge smear campaign towards Amber Heard. It all felt like it was, like, popular to, to be Team Depp and to be, like, hey, she's fucking crazy. But, like, I, here's the thing. I just think that, like, crazy shit happened. And I think shit got blown out of 
portion and there's different aspects of it. And so I'm saying I would not party with Johnny Depp given the chance. I would be in a room with Johnny Depp when he parties, but probably not. He seems shitty. He seems like a piece of shit. I mean, look look at his fucking jewelry choice. Yeah. No, totally. I think that a lot of people are stupid, and it's Team Jack Sparrow, it's Team Dudes, uh, it's Team... Uh, that crazy bitch can't get away with this. Uh, and, yeah, who, who did you think she was? She won punitive damage against one of his lawyers, not Johnny Depp himself. Uh... I mean, the thing is, 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 again, he had all the power in the situation. Uh, yes, fashion bad equals man bad. Uh, top three Metroidvanias, Sam. Uh, Hollow Knight. Um, Metroid. And Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, it's clear that it was a bad relationship, but I can't convince, be convinced he physically abused her without evidence, emotional, mental abuse, for sure. Uh, I just think that, like, the thing is, is that I think she got played. I think, like... Yeah, I think some some uh, uh, lines got crossed by both of them, but I think this is a s situation where this. I mean, it reminds me of like. Did everyone see the the uh, Monica Lewinsky thing? The um, the Bill Clinton Monica Lewinsky TV show, and gr granted, it's like a drama show, but like, uh, it's like when you get in a situation where the scales are so unbalanced like like part of that whole thing was everyone's making fun of her lawyers and it's like yeah he's got some of the best lawyers money can buy because he has shit tons of money because he probably has not only shit tons of money but like fucking companies like like I, I wouldn't want to say Disney but like like companies like that that like are invested in his career helping his case and helping a coordinated uh, uh, image attack with his defense. How did he have all the power? Aren't they both rich and successful? She's only been famous for like two years. He's been famous for fucking 20 years he has more power in Hollywood Johnny Depp has way more power in, in Hollywood than Amber Heard he has way more money in Am than Amber Heard uh, yeah I mean like how did he not have all the power yeah But refuculate, did it go to court? It, it it was like yes, there was a trial over this, but it was a uh, it it wasn't like it was like she was bringing him to court over uh, like abuse claims. He was bringing her to court over defamation claims, and I think there's a difference there. Got the TRO di two days before Aquaman came out. They made it look like calculated, even if it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like you can say her power was the was to get him canceled, 
but also the thing is is that like that's it's not really like it, it doesn't work like that it's not like, you know what? I'm going to get you canceled. <laughs> it's like... Like, Kevin Spacey is making shit again, but, like, like I think canceled is, is such a weird thing. Like, this whole, like, cancel culture, it's more of what the people who are having their lives affected by negative things they do say than it is about people say about other people. It was a defecation trail. Oh, sure, sure. We'll pay you fifty dollars over Amber Heard's shilling price to switch to Team Johnny. Uh, this is just—I mean, I think it's kind of gross. Uh, like. She did it because she was obsessed with him and she's crazy. I mean, wh what do you mean? They, they were married. Like, it's not like this was like a single white female situation or like, uh. I, ju I just think, like, here's the thing it's like. I just don't think Johnny Depp's a victim here. And here's the other thing, is and this is part of my 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 older hot take, is uh, Ezra Miller is in one of the movies that he got taken from. Johnny Depp got taken out of Harry Potter, uh, out of not Harry Potter, but uh, Dumbledore secrets. And the thing is, is that like. Ezra Miller has been like going through a lot of stuff publicly, a lot of stuff like a lot of court cases and stuff like that. And Fantastic Beasts, yeah, thank you. And they're still in that movie. She cheated on him with Elon Musk and James Franco, etc. Oh, hold the phone. Maybe she should owe him fifty million dollars. No one cheats on Johnny Depp and gets away with it. <laughs> I also like like one of the things of like, hey, look at like she cheated on him with Johnny Depp or, or with not Johnny with uh, James Franco was like two days after like she said that they like had like a huge fight. She uh was in the the elevator with James Franco and like it they weren't like hooking up like they were like it was like 2 days later she's a friend who was going to her abusive husband's apartment with him with her It's all hearsay. No, yeah, let's 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 do something else. Let's Photoshop some someone's face onto a old person's body. All right, who should we do? Um, Mick Jagger. Or wait, how about how old is Ringo Starr? Eighty one. All right. Now, what do eighty one year olds look like? I feel bad though. I don't think Ringo Starr's. Uh, eighty one years old. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Let's find an eighty one year old. Usually, they're like mug shots that you end up getting. Who's, who's someone oh wait oh I know let's do Tom Cruise uh, I saw I saw the new Top Gun it was sweet um, 
It was so cheesy. Oh, wait. Let me... Uh, let's see, let's see, how old is he? Let's say real age. What's his real age? 59. All right. 59 year old man. Ooh, I think that's a good one. Wait, let me see. This guy might be good. Uh, filter. Let's get a large. Do this one. Let's do someone who's just really normal looking. Too, too many of these are freak shows. Look at all these freak shows. One day a real rain's gonna come. Seventy-five year old, seventy year old. Ooh, sexual. This this guy's a pedophile. Uh, I'm not gonna do that to Maverick. Is this guy fifty-nine? All right, yeah, this guy's good. That's good. It's gonna be tough to match that um, skin tone. Right, yeah, Paul Angelo. Let's see. All right, wait, let me see what which way is Paul Angelo sitting in that picture that I just found. Kinda okay, okay, kinda okay. I'd say a smile picture like maybe wait, we'll find the most recent so we'll go like top gun. And then I'll say premiere. He's got some hair in his face. It's kind of a hard haircut to deal with. Let's do it. Make sure we do a big one, too. All right. Man, that, that was a crazy movie. Turns out the in order to be a Fighter pilot, you gotta, you, you can't think, you just gotta be. You just gotta react. Alright, I think this is a good one. Maybe there's enough here. Okay. Where did, where did that cord go? God damn it. God damn it. God fucking thing. Yeah. Is that not it?
Oh, there we go. Alright. Okay, let me just do one thing real quick, and then I'll get the show on the road show. I'm glad I did this. Okay. And um, let's see. And her name was Cassandra. Alright, sorry, I haven't looked. Uh, okay, now let's see here. Okay. Quite weird. Okay, here we go. We have Paul Angelo here, who is 59 year old man. Uh, let's now. It's, well, it's all. Oh, you start by duplicating that layer. Uh, actually, wait, let me see. This window's kind of messed up. Here we go, this is what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Here we go. 
Now you guys can see. All right, so I duplicated this layer. I'm going to actually let's just uh, kind of. I guess we'll do just a simple lasso tool face. Go T, I want to see if I can keep that, but all right, let's mask that. I think I need to invert that mask. All right. And now let's open. I'm just going to take this whole thing. I think the... Oh, nice. The shadow is actually kind of on the right side of the face there. Uh -huh. Alright, so that's where that layer is. Okay. Hello. All right, let's do this. We'll take this. Let's turn the opacity down. Or actually, wait. Take this, and we'll turn the opacity down. And then let's match up Tom Cruise's eyes with Paul Angelo's eyes here, and his mouth with his mouth. And use that as roughly. Okay. All right, we can move this over. Looks a bit big. Bit high. Yeah, that's better. Okay. I do like that the lighting is somewhat okay. Uh, I'm gonna clean up the hairs a little bit. Let me just do this. Mm -hmm. This would be white, right? I think I have to stamp remove his forehead hair. Oh, fuck. Doing that in the wrong place. I hate when I do that. Ain't good. This is fast and loose and kind of ugly, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, all right, there's his face, it's not great. Sort of in the right place, though. Looks a little big, but we'll see. I don't even have my chat. Oh, good night, guys. Yeah, the new Cronenberg movie does look cool. Um, you're right about that. All right, so now I like to do this. I like to add a layer. And I'm going to take a color from this layer. And I'm going to come into this layer. I'm just going to paint that color. 
over the skin here. Try not to get the eyebrows too much and just paint it over Tom Cruise's skin. We'll just like here, here. Mask. It's like a, no, I might do a different color for that side of the face, but we'll see. And then. I might try and see if I can get that goatee on him. All right, now I take this layer. Let's change the blending mode. Okay. It's getting close. Let's see if we do that. Uh, go back to opacity. Perkins okay. One of these is okay. Let me get a little bit more of this. So, and then let's turn the opacity down on it. Starting to match up a little bit. Right, let's actually we'll do over. Right now, that's the. Okay. Um. All right. Now let's take this. from this layer. Set it to this layer. Let's see if that works. That kind of blends it together a little bit. So why don't we turn this layer down? So I'll just do it. Do it on this layer. Find the spots. Just sort of trace over them. Right now, let's turn this back up. No, he still has that smudge. That's actually not a smudge. That's just the mask. See that? Let's come back here. Take that back. You know what I might do? I'm liking this. I just think that we need to match the so I might actually change his instead of matching the one to the other. Maybe I try and match that one a little bit to him. Get this a little bit to him.
You know, every time you see Tom Cruise movie, you're like, is he ever going to get old? And I guess this is what it would look like. Uh, all right. Now I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to take that and I'm going to add that a little bit to that top layer. On a mask. Wait, let me see. Where is it? What is that? Ooh, that looks good. Darken again. I think I need to add a little bit of this shade layer, though. Because I think that makes more sense if this goes all the way out. It's looking good, right? Maybe a little bit clean in the neck. Ted Cruz during Top Gun Escape from Mexico. Uh, do I think sandwiches have feeling? Of course I do. That's why my favorite is a fiery Italian sandwich. See if I add some of this tone, this kind of face, that tone to the neck, I think it might be good. Oh wait, wrong layer, but that doesn't matter. This layer. Actually, I uh, might as well just erase that back a little. Sorry, guys, for being so quiet. I guess, yeah, I guess that, like if I just... Pretty good. I think maybe I'll do this, though. Maybe his hair should be lighter.
Yeah, this guy looks like he's in a pharmaceutical ad. You're right. the fuck did I just undo my text layer because I tried to undo that movement fuck I hate that shit do you remember a commercial with Gecko with the name we had a baby it's a boy to make oh yeah I do remember that one How's that? I still feel like his neck's a little off. What am I going to do? Image adjustment. You know what I'm going to do? Image. So I can still see that line. Well, I'm going to save. visible layers and now it's one layer and now I'm gonna image down the saturation pretty good right file skin tone I mean yeah 
Uh, all right, guys. That we we've come. We we had some debate. We hung out. Uh, we did crossword. I had a fun time. I had a fun time. Let's see. We haven't read Isidore in a while. All right. Isidore. It was a fun night. Have fun hanging out with Isidore. Uh. I think uh, we're gonna have self suck on Saturday. I will not be there this Saturday, but uh, the other guys will. So I think. Oh, I'm making sure it gets together. And hey, thanks for yeah. Hey, my illegitimate child. Uh, I am a real big fan of the community here, and I just want to make sure you guys all have a place to hang out. Uh, cool. And I'm sure Timmy will be streaming soon. Uh, community, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Oh, oh, I'm going to Mike Chillian's wedding. Mike Chillian is the creator of Tig and Seek. Uh, not the hat I'm wearing. The hat I wear sometimes. Check out season four of Tig and Seek. It's really fun. It's really fucking weird. It's on HBO Max. Um,. Like, if you watch Tick and Seek, start from season four, work your way back to season three. Season two, sure, there, there's some good moments in season one, sure. But I wrote on season two and season three, watch season two and three, there's, we parody Taxi Driver, uh, Mulholland Drive. <laughs>